刚刚收到哥哥的来信，他在美国挺好的，他问候你爹。你已经没有哥哥了One step further. The Keeper of the Imperial Seal. Just the man I was looking for. A woman. You Chinese are very progressive. What are you reading? Oh, Roy O'Bannon versus the Mummy. It's incredible. Roy's just taken out the Mummy's entire army of zombie Confederate soldiers, and he only had one bullet. That's impossible. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, you see, Roy figured out the physics of the canyon, and then ricocheted a bullet off the canyon wall, and nailed each zombie through the heart. What about the Shanghai kid? Oh, he was captured and knocked out of pitch tan while he was polishing Roy's pearl handles. Don't you worry, Roy is about to save him from becoming a human sacrifice. Those stories are all lies. No, see, 
It says right here on the back, author Sage McAllister bases all his stories on first-hand accounts. Sorry, Sheriff. No princess. Every day you meet the main stage, and every day it's the same story. She's not coming back. Pepe is married to her work in San Francisco. More than women. Sure. You got a purse. Hey, maybe it's from her. No, it's from my sister in China. I know. I must go stay here and be a good horsey for the new sheriff. Uh, Sheriff, that stage is headed east. Isn't China kind of west of here? I'm not going to China. I'm going to New York. Roy invested my money. Is it true that he lives in a penthouse at the top of the Ritz, surrounded by dozens of beautiful women at his every beck and call? That's the old Roy. He's married. Settle down. Trust me, he's changed. So there we were, completely outnumbered. He didn't have to tell me we didn't stand a chance. So I send the Shanghai kid and the princess out the back. <laughs> Poor Shanghai kid, he was so frightened. He forgot to thank me for saving his life. I'm used to that. Now, I returned to the front, and I counted to three, and I burst out of the mission, pearl handles blazing, lead flying everywhere, and not a single bullet touched me. No. <gasps> what happened to the Emperor's gold? Well, we divided it up. I insisted on giving my share to the Indians, of course. The savages? Please don't ever call those noble people savages. If being proud of your body and wanting to ride around naked all day makes you a savage, then by God, you're drinking with a savage. <laughs> and that is what you call a French toast. You're so sophisticated, Mr. <laughs> Woo! He's up for some more bubbly. Mm -hmm. Reach for the sky, Roy. Say that again? Reach for the sky, Roy. John Wayne! Oh. You sly son of a gun! Look at you! Look at you! What brings you to New York? My share of the gold. Refresh my memory. What gold are we talking about? The Emperor's gold. OK, now that gold is in what the Wall Street pros call a long-term investment. We can't touch it right now because it's building. I need it tonight. You just got here. Let's celebrate a little bit. Hey. No, I don't have time. You just got to the big city. My father has been killed. John, you need the money to get back for the funeral? No. I must go to England. The ship leaves tonight. Wait, your father died in England? China. My sister followed the murderer to London. Wait, murderer? Which, uh, I'm a little bit mixed up. Let me see if I can get the facts straight. You have a sister? You never told me you had a sister. Is she pretty or does she look like you, John? Be honest. Roy, I need my money. 
I don't like that tone of voice. You think after all we'd been through, I'd stiff you? In case you had noticed, I'm doing pretty well for myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Roy. That's OK. I'm going through a really tough time right now. You got to be more trusting of people, OK? Look at me. It's Roy. The couple at table five is ready to order. Do you work here? No, I don't work here. I mean, it looks like these guys are wearing a similar jacket. Roy, you should cut the tips. It's the craziest thing. I guess, I guess because I come in here so much, they're mistaking me for a waiter. It's embarrassing. You lost the gold. Not all of it. What's the rest? I have one word for you. Zeppelin. I need my money now! Easy, easy. <laughs> Would you do anything for this money? Yes, I must leave tonight. Okay, take this key, go to the room, get cleaned up. Your old power boy's got a plan. No! Come on! Big boy. <gasps> There's a woman in there. She wants to meet to sleep with her. Of course she does. I told her the Great Wall ain't the only big thing coming out of China. Why did you say that? So you could get the money. I would not sleep with women for money. Why? I'm gonna sleep with her for money. John, just go in there and do your business and think about your sister in England. What? Roy! Duty calls. Roy! Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Where are they? Who? My daughters. Tenth floor. Roy? Roy, you got trouble. Roy! I just got to check on something. I'll be right back. John, new plan. We got to go. Ooh. John, what are you doing? Oh. I'm fixing her back. Ooh. Put her down, you decadent Philistine. Oh. Oh. John, huh? come on, let's go. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye. Come on. I don't understand. What's going on? I don't have time to explain. All you have to know is there are bad men after us, but I'm in the right. Roy. John, come on. You gotta trust me on this one. Okay, look, I'm kind of in a transitional phase of my life right now, but... But what? You wanna know the truth? I'm a little lost right now. I see you, you've got a sense of purpose, but look at me. I'm a 30-year-old waiter gigolo. Where's the future in that? So what's the plan? You are always my compass, John. The plan. You ask me the right questions. The plan? The plan, I think, is to find the right woman, raise a lot of children, and teach them values. No, Roy. The plan to get out of here. OK, the plan. Can help us. No, 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 John, John, not these cops. These are dirty cops. They take advantage of people. Now, if they stop us, remember, I'm not Roy O'Bannon. Who are you? I'm your friend, Smokey Desperado from the West. And who am I? You, you're Benny Hanna. Benny Hanna. Yeah, you teach, uh, you teach crippled children yoga here in the city. Okay, you go first. No! no why me? Because you blend in, okay? Now go! Don't let him see you! Benny Hanna. Oh, 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 oh,
wasting time. You, John, I found our ticket out of here. We're on our way. Looks like old Roy came through again, just like old times, John. Yeah, just like old times. Oh, you forget about the gold for a second. You're gonna have more money than you ever dreamed of when that first Zeppelin takes off. Why do I always believe in you? Hey, John, you're lucky I didn't invest in that ridiculous automobile idea. Yeah, that's gonna make a lot of money. What's that? Doghouse. I'm in the doghouse. Oh, come on, John. Look, I'm sorry I lied. I just didn't want to disappoint you. That's exactly what I mean. I can't take that look. I learned it from my father. That's how he used to look at me. So what, what did your dad do? Was he an Imperial Guard? No. Much more important. He was the keeper of the Imperial Seal. That's what I love about China. Everybody's job description sounds so damn cool. The seal has been symbol of the Emperor's power since Genghis Khan. It has been passed down from one emperor to another. My family have been watching over it for 12 generations. 12 generations? My father and I used to skip stones across the moat and talk about a day. I would follow his footsteps. I was his only son. If I have been there, I could have protected him. It's not your fault. You're 3,000 miles away. What's with that little box? My sister sent it to me from my father. There's a message inside. What's it say? It's a puzzle box. I don't know how to open yet. What do you mean you don't know how to open it? Get a hammer and smash it open so you can see what it says. I must have patience. By the time I'm able to open it, I will be ready to read the message. Oh, come on, Confucius. That's the corniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Let me see this. You know what? We're going to go to England. We're going to find your dad's killer, and we're going to get that seal back. There's no reward for this, Roy. Who said anything about a reward? I'm talking about friendship, loyalty, honor, OK? I think you're right. And I hear England is ass soup. A lot of pretty girls there. <laughs> First order of business, my lords, is a report from our esteemed friend, Lord Rathbone, who recently returned from a diplomatic mission to China. <laughs> Fellow lords, I'm afraid I bring disturbing news from the Orient. The Opium Wars have ravaged the land and the Emperor's enemies are organizing. The most vicious are the boxers. A godless band of rebels who murder without discretion. China is not well. I have brought back an envoy who should give us some insight into the inscrutable mind of the Chinese. <laughs> Given to Her Majesty Queen Victoria by the Emperor in recognition of her 50 glorious years on the throne. Long live the Queen. England swings like a pendulum do. 
Bobby's own bicycles two by two. Westminster Abbey, the Tower of Big Ben, the rosy red cheeks of the little children. How do you partner? The English are not very friendly. Oh, they're just sore losers. What do they lose? Little thing called the American Revolution, John. Never heard of it. I'll give you the highlights. They came over with about a million men. We had a bunch of farmers with pitchforks and beat them like a drum. Hey! Hey! I'm walking here! You're driving on the wrong side of the road! Bunch of amateurs. People don't get it. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Look at you. What? Am I supposed to notice a pretty lady? I thought you wanted to settle down and have a family. I do, John. I just, I just hope I can. Why not? Sometimes I worry that all that, that damn horseback riding I did out in the West, bouncing up and down on the hard saddles, might have, might have made it so my salmon don't swim upstream the way they're supposed to. What? You know, I might be shooting blanks. Don't say anything. Roy, it's OK. Some people are not meant to have a family. Why is that such a special connection with children? Little ankle biters. Hey, watch it, you little punk. Oh, my God. And you, Jen's lost your way? Yeah. We're looking for my sister. She's staying at 32 Oxford Street. Oh, I know it will go. My old man used to live there. Can you show us a way? Well, memory's a little dodgy. But I'm sure Father Bob I could get you there. What do you take us for, kid? A couple Okies from Muskogee? Go on, go sell your bullshit someplace else. We're not buying. Thanks for the tip, Gav. Hey, I stole that watch from my uncle. What? What did I tell you about poaching on our turf, Charlie? I'm on the straight and narrow, honest. What's this then? After I'm through beating you, you're gonna wish you never run away from the workhouse. Leave the boy alone. Bloody tourists. Get your nosies out of it. Guys, do whatever you want to the kid, but that's my watch you're holding. Well, there's a load of us. And only two of you. So piss off! Easy, fellas. You've lost one war this way. Don't make the same mistake twice.
Okay. Okay. I call that one my Kung Pao chicken. I clothesline the sucker. I think you gentlemen should accompany me back to the yard. This isn't a yard, it's a jail! Roy, calm down. Let me handle this. I'm gonna handle it, okay? The English aren't like you. They don't get all emotional, touchy-feely. Do me a favor, park the kung fu, let me do the talking. Come here, let me give you a hug. <laughs> I've been after that Fleet Street gang for two years. Then you two come along and bring them down in a single afternoon. Brilliant, now. Um, Oh, that's my watch. Yes, a street urchin turned it in. That little punk better not have scuffed it. I, I do hope your luck picks up. What do you mean, my luck? Well, I deduced from your watch that you'd hit rather a rough patch. He has. How do you know? It's an investigative technique I've developed. I can deduce intimate details about an individual through a close scrutiny of their personal effects. What else can you tell? The owner of this watch is a bad gambler and a lousy shot. Now, though he's cheated there several times, he spends most of his life wandering in a rather pathetic and futile search for purpose and respect. Oh, yes. He has a penchant for loose women. Wow. That's amazing. I'm sure it's a very popular party trick uh, at birthdays for small children, but it doesn't quite play with adults. <laughs> And just to set the record straight, Roy O'Bannon is not attracted to loose women. Loose women are attracted to me. You're Roy O'Bannon? Yeah. The famous Western folk hero? Have you heard of me? Have I heard of you? I've only read Roy O'Bannon versus the Mummy five times. It's fascinating. Hey, I want you to meet the Shanghai kid. Oh, yes. The faithful Chinese sidekick. I'm not a sidekick. Those stories are all lies. Hey, come on, don't be bitter. I can't help what Sage McAllister writes. If there's anything I can do, I'm at your service. We are looking for my sister. She's staying this address. Can you take us there? Oh dear. I think you'd better come with me. This is Aline, my baby sister. What was the baby? <laughs> Roy O'Bannon. Pleasure. You never told me your sister was such a beautiful lotus blossom. This is your friend's friend. Right. What'd she say? She's very beautiful. No, no, no. No talking about me in your native tongue. Why are you in jail? I followed the man who murdered father. And? I found out where I live. I snuck inside his house and tried to kill him. It's my duty to find father's killer. No, it is mine. I'm the one who promised father. But I'm his only son. When you abandon us for America, father said he had no son. What? <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Time out, time out. Come here. Look, the detective's a fan. Why don't I play the celebrity card and we'll get her out that way? Okay? Come on. Don't worry. I'll get you out. Everything's gonna be okay. In fact, I'm gonna give you my good luck playing cards. Just ignore the naked ladies. Wang! 
You opened my father's box. Not yet. She tried to assassinate Lord Rathbone whilst he was taking his afternoon tea. He's tenth in line to the throne, Her Majesty's favourite cousin, and the finest swordsman in England. So of course, the press had a field day. The story actually knocked Jack the Ripper off the front page. Artie, Lynn is not a killer. She's just a really, really, really hot, confused Chinese girl. Maybe if I agree to sign a few autographs and talk to some of my fans here in England, do some type of charity event, can we get her out that way? I'm afraid that's out of the question. What will happen to my sister? She'll go to trial, probably be locked away in an institution for the criminally insane. Tabloids have already dubbed her Looney Lynn. Oh, it's rather catchy. <laughs> At the time. Do you have any notion what would happen if we were to be seen together? Since your return, I've yet to lay eyes on the Imperial Seal. I'm hosting a Jubilee Ball at my country estate tomorrow. Be at the stables at midnight. As requested, a token of my esteem. <sighs> this is where you get out. I hope there will be more trust between us when I'm Emperor and you are the new king. Wow, Buckingham Palace. Look at that, John. That's where the queen lives. Hey, look at this guy. He's a royal guard. He has a very important job. I used to be just like him. Oh, no, no, they're nothing like you. They're more of a tourist attraction. You can make faces at them, insult them, and they can't move a muscle. Here, watch this. Roy. No, no, it's OK. Hey, buddy, your shoes are untied. That is the biggest damn beaver I have ever seen. <laughs> Roy, stop it. The queen! Look, the queen! She's mooning us. He almost went for that. My friend and I just came over from America. You might have heard of it. We run your jerkwater country. Come on. You gonna take that from a colonial? Roy, stop it. I bet you are one hell of a damn poker player. No hard feelings. Huh? <laughs> I can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. Shouldn't have touched him. You scram, you little punk. Got friends at Scotland Yard. I'll give you up in a heartbeat. You get your watch back. Don't worry about my watch. Come on. It's a knockoff, you know. What are you talking about a knockoff? My uncle stole this watch from President Lincoln. It's a priceless family heirloom. Not according to the pawnbroker. You should not steal. Yeah, if I don't steal, I don't need. By the way, let's show you how to do all that kicking and punching. My father. Yeah, have you ever heard of those? They're parents. We have parents that love us. You don't, because you're a little orphan. And go on, you're making us look bad. You're cramping our style. Ah, uh, the country blows. You need a place to stay. Come on in and warm your dogs. Kid, you can get into a lot of trouble breaking into a place like this. That being said, well done. Chocolate. Of course I did. You gotta look out for number one, kid. I could really get used to this. Living the life of a country gentleman. Maybe doing a little painting. Let Lynn play in the garden with the children. Vera, Chuck, and Dave. Who's Lynn? <sighs> Lynn's the most beautiful woman I've ever met. She's gonna be the savior of the house of O'Bannon. Hey, John! Check out the threads. What do you think? All I'm missing is the loyal hound curled at my feet. We are wasting time. We must fight Rough Boom. What do you think I've been doing? Sitting here drinking expensive hooch? Boy, refill. I've been working on a plan. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't slosh the brandy. It messes with the bouquet. 
Hold on. Listen, I'm trying to teach you a skill set, help get you off the street. Bartenders make big bucks. Roy! The plan. Thank you, John. Now, I figure if we find the seal, we can prove Rathbone killed your dad. It's the old Hail Mary play. I also have a version where we dig a tunnel. Hey! Bloody catapult, Jesus Christ. You don't need a catapult. Who asked you? You don't interrupt grown-ups when they're talking. Lord Nelson Rathbone requests the pleasure of your company at the Jubilee Ball in honor of Her Majesty's 50th year on the farm. Sounds good. Yeah, it doesn't address the issue of security. They're not exactly gonna let John and I waltz into the castle. All you need is a proper disguise. I do like a good disguise. Russia, that's Indian royalty. But I'm Chinese. It's the same thing. Hey, bob your head a little bit. Gives you more of an India royalty flavor. That's good. Good show, good show. Good show, good show. Cheerio, cheerio. Cheerio, cheerio. And what do we do when we see Rathbone? Kill him. No, okay? No, you're gonna be civil in there because we don't have the seal yet. No seal, no win, no family honor, okay? Be cool. Okay, we look great. Let's enjoy this party. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I'm going inside. They say the place is haunted. No, you're the harness man, which means you get back in the carriage and you wait there in case we need to make a quick getaway. Go on, man, your post. You don't always get what you want. Why are you so mean to that boy? I see a lot of myself in that kid. It's kind of freaking me out. Come on. Your name, please, sir. So I can announce you. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. And which province do you represent, Your Highness? Nevada. Sherlock Holmes and His Highness the Maharaja of Nevada. How are the security arrangements this evening, Inspector? Oh, um, everything seems to be going swimmingly, my lord. And if I may say so, it is an honor to guard your lordship tonight. I think I speak for all of us at Scotland Yard when I say that no matter how far you are from the throne, you'll always be number one in our hearts. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna get a little chow, then we're gonna sneak out of here, start looking for that seal. Okay. Spotted dick, sir. What? Spotted dick. Can you believe this guy? I'm trying to get something to eat. He's asking me if I got the clap. I think he's offering you food. Oh, spotted dick. Oh, no, I think I'll pass. I'm not really a dessert man. Perhaps my friend might like some spotted dick. <laughs> uh, might try one of these sausages, though. A little Smoky Joe. Mmm, this is good. I thought the food here was supposed to suck. The haggis is fresh from Scotland, sir. It's made from the finest sheep's bladders. I'm gonna get some whiskey and wash my mouth out.
suggested you should try the quail. I shot them myself this morning. How do you do, your lordship? Very well, thank you. I'm not acquainted with the Nevada province. But I haven't been to India since 81. I spent most of my time in the Orient. I hear you've just returned from China. You are well informed, Maharaja. It is my dream that the Chinese people will follow India's example and one day embrace British rule. The Chinese are very proud. They place family and honor above all else. Well, I'm sure we can break them of that. If you'll excuse me, I have a matter to attend to. Until we meet again. Patience, patience. I'm proud of you, John. We must find a seal. What do you see? He just pulled a fancy dragon key out of his desk. That was my father's. I must avenge you, his honor. Slow down, Tiger. Slow down. Quit going all Chinese on me. Where is he? Damn it, John. Remember your puzzle box. Patience. Patience. Okay, now there are no windows. We just came in through the only doorway. At least one explanation. Remember in Royal Bantam vs. the Mummy how the zombie king got away when I chased him into the Pharaoh's tomb? There's a secret passageway behind the Sphinx. Now there's gotta be a lever or a button over here. Help me lift some stuff up. We're gonna... Looking at me. Look! Oh, yeah, yeah, it looks like it's looking at me, too. That's great. That's no, fun. real eyes. Moving. No, John, that kid got to you, didn't he? Unbelievable. We're not in a haunted house. That's a technique that an artist uses. Ubiquitous gaze or pursuing eyes is the technical term. It's unnerving, though. I'll give you that. Right. Now, those eyes. Look! Whatever you say, John. What you got here, Rathbone? Roy! What, John? Are the statues moving now? So think with you shouting at me, John. 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 This is ridiculous, John. If you want to act like a child and play little games, then find someone else, okay? Because I take this stuff seriously. I'm here to work. I'm on a mission. John. Okay, John. Okay, you little Chinese otter. Let's play. What? What are you doing? It's kinky. I like it. 
different about this room. Please. Now he shows up. I found it. Wait, John, do you want to hear? It's just gone. Must you keep doing that? I was taught not to be seen or heard. The seal. I am a man of my word. I remember watching my brother play with this like a baby rattle. When I try to touch it, the Dowager Empress beats me. No doubt your deprived childhood made you into the man you are today. What if you do it? Ah. He's the Emperor's bastard brother. He was banished from the Forbidden City for trying to steal the Imperial seal. Our father caught him. He vowed to return to claim the Emperor's throne. This guy. I'll assume everything has been arranged as discussed. You have nothing to worry about. It's all in place. That diamond is as big as a damn monkey's ball. And Roy, don't even think about it. I'm just admiring the craftsmanship, John. So for now, our business is completed. Wesley!
Yeah. We just got it. Roy, come on! John, what in our history together makes you think I'm capable of something like that? Roy! I can't do that. Hurry up! Wait. It's a better way. These are the men who attacked me. I'm afraid the assailants have uh, temporarily eluded us, my lord. Perhaps you could explain to me how Looney Lynn managed to escape from the confines of Scotland Yard under the watch of the most respected police force in the world? Yes, of course. It's absolutely fascinating. Um, she picked the lock using a deck of rather risque playing cards then scaled the walls with a mop, a fork, and various pilfered undergarments. I mean, we've got to hand it to the Chinese. They're awfully ingenious lot, aren't they? Does your incompetence know no bounds? <sighs> it's a time. Of the season when the love runs high in this time, give it to me easy and let me try with pleasure. Where am I? To take you in the sun to Lynn. I don't even know these women. position on page 37. What's your Come name? Thanks. Who's your dad? <laughs> Not okay. I've just been violated by a barnyard animal. Uh, uh, who will leave a pile of stones in the middle of that field? I don't know, John. These people are nuts. Why? Can I tell you something? What? This is a hell of a damn adventure we're on, and I'm having an absolute ball with you. Me too. Here we go, here we go. Get your thumb out, Maharaja. What? Get over here. Excuse me. Please. Ah, shoulder's getting a little tight. This is your first time in England, isn't it? How do you know your way around? It's incredible. I always had a good sense of direction. Ah, you can say that again. Wish we could say the same about you know who. I once sent him over a mountain range. He was lost forever. <laughs> One time, I sent him over the Great Wall. He was lost for three days. <laughs> three days? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, gosh, we got a lot in common. I've never met anybody like you, Roy. Really? Yeah. Hey, can I tell you something without you getting offended? What? You have a great body. <laughs> there, I said it. It's out in the open. 
<laughs> you must work out. Me? Excuse me. I... John, what are you doing? Oh. I don't like the vaccine. It makes me sick. Dizzy. White Chapel. This looks like a nice enough neighborhood. What is Puss and Boots? It's a boarding house. Some of the sailors on the ship coming over recommended it. I won't let my sister stay here. What are we supposed to do? Check into the Savoy? We'll get arrested before we get to our room. I don't mind this place. See? She's a little open-minded. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy because I just met her, but I think I'm falling for her. I think she's the one. Roy, she's my baby sister. I know she is. Thank God. That's the only chance I've got. Look, I'm getting ready to launch a little thing called Operation Sweeper off her feet. You're in a position to talk me up. Can I count on you? Please, buddy. I've never asked you for anything. Sure, Roy. I'll tell her the truth. Don't get hung up on the truth. Feel free to smooth out your old pal's rough edges. I love you, buddy. Lee. Come. Sit. See a tumble. Oh, where were you two days ago? I would have betted you in a second. Now you're looking at a changed man. I'm sort of saving myself for someone special. I'll give you a discount. That's the most romantic thing any woman's ever said to me. Oh, you better go. You better go before we lose control. Go. Have you change your mind? Roy. Our father will talk about the right man for you. He must be strong, right. courageous, and a good father. Like Roy. We got her, John. Not like Roy. You don't know him like I do. He has many bad habits. Such as? He drinks, smokes, and he gambles. John, John, where are you going with this? He sleeps with women for money. What are you... Roy, don't do that. I can see inside him. He has a good heart. That's right. His salmon don't swim upstream. Huh? He shoots blanks. <laughs> Lin, he cannot be trusted. How could you say that? You're his friend. Yeah, yeah, sort of. Roy is the type of a friend you never introduce to your other friends or bring home to your family. He never speak the truth. You know what I call him? Not Roy O'Bannon, Roy O'Baloney. I don't care. Lin, I forbid it. You are not my father. Buddy? A whole lot of leave me alone. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. I guess I just woke up on the wrong side of bed. I feel a little pain in my back, like someone put a knife there. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. Yes, it's the saddest experience. Roy. Ta-da! 
That actually reminds me of a trick. Have you ever seen this one? Ah. Or this one? Ah. I think you're so cool with your karate and your childlike reflexes. Ah. Ah. Oh. Roy, you okay? Look at you. <laughs> Do you really call me Roy Baloney? Roy, you don't understand. You just smashed my puzzle box. I'll never figure out my message. Roy. Go. You're dead to me. I don't know a John Wayne. Who loves you, baby? Nice try, John. Roy! I'm sorry. You do that again and you're a dead man. It was his idea. John! Close! There's a serial killer on the loose. Forget it. Who the hell are these guys? Boxes. What do they want with us? They're with me. I think we need to have a little chat. John Wayne, the man who defied an emperor. The emperor should never have a spare your life. I see. You are still my brother's lapdog. I'm here not for him. I'm here for my father. Of course you are. It was my dagger that plunged into his heart. Is still crusted with his blood. I know the boy has the seal. Where is he? We don't know. That's the truth. We don't know. What are you, what are you doing? No, stop. Put her down. Put her down. Put her down. Oh, what, Mr. O'Bannon? 
Are you gonna kick my ass? I've read all about your ridiculous exploits. I mean, just how does it feel to kill a mummy with your bare hands? Only a nation of uneducated rednecks would be amused by such cowboy drivel. Oh, oh, easy. What's with the personal attacks? You don't see me making any comments about your pasty complexion or your snotty accent or even your filthy, smutty sex books. Yeah, I saw your book. It disgusted me. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, why is it always the head with you people? Hold it! Stop! Hold it! Just hold it! What are we doing here? Guys, look at this. We're acting like animals. Over what? Some seal? The seal represents imperial power. I will use it to unite the Emperor's enemies and storm the Forbidden City. Well, what's in it for you? You're looking at the future King of England. You're like 20th in line of the throne. 10th. But my friend is about to change all that by simple process of elimination. It's called a machine gun. The first of its kind, it fires 200 rounds a minute. Testament to British ingenuity. Well, so you steal the seal, and then you knock off nine royals? You got the short end of that stick, my friend. Dump them in the river. Where are you taking her? To make history. I can already see the headlines. Nation mourns as Looney Lynn massacres royal family. I need your assurance that you will find the seal. Don't concern yourself. My men are scouring the city. You better pray they find it. All our agreement is over, and you will never get the crown. John, I got a confession to make. You are in love with my sister. Well, that, but I didn't lose all the money on the Zeppelins. No? Nah. I blew most of it on the Royal Bannon novels. I wrote them. No, Sage McAllister wrote That's it. That's what I'm saying, buddy. I'm Sage McAllister. You wrote those lies? I've always had low self-esteem. How many books did you print? Uh, I self-published probably a million copies. <gasps> we were actually second to the Bible that year. Oh, you. I guess I'm just about the worst friend a guy could ask for. <sighs> no, you're a good friend. If you really love Lin, I will stay in away. Really? But if you break her heart, I break your legs. That's fair. Well, friends to the end, John. And this is the end. John, you got a plan? You wouldn't happen to have a plan, would you? Yes. Anything I can do? No. Good. I want you to do the heavy lifting.
care anymore. must protest this intrusion. Every bobby in London is out scouring the streets for you two. Have you been drinking? I always drink when my employment's been terminated. They fired you? Lord Rathbone saw to that. I'm sorry. It's of no consequence. I never wanted to be an inspector in the first place. It was my father's idea. I always wanted to be a writer. Yeah. Ardy, we need your help. Rafu has taken lean. He's gonna kill the royal family and he's gonna assume the throne. Do you have any evidence to support these preposterous allegations? We have this. It's the boys. Use your technique. Tell us where he is. Paraffin wax. Most interesting. He's at a church. The little punk's hiding in a church. No, no, no. It's not candle wax. I have it. Don't worry, you'll get it. What are you doing? He's picking the lock. Well, hurry up. John, please, please. It's a very meticulous process. Let Artie do his job. It's almost an art form. It takes the precision of a surgeon. What? You have to be so precise. Maybe if we jam another one in there. Well, that works, too. Lacks a certain finesse. All right, all right, let's split up. Where is it? What? You know what I'm talking about. Give me that. What? What do we got here? Oh, yes. You don't mind if I take this back, do you? Come on, get out of here. Go! 
Roy, I got it. Give me the seal. Give me the seal! So what are we gonna do? Come on, think. I'm not going to an English prison. With my feathery blonde hair and John's athletic build, he'll try to make us the bell of the ball. Forget it. I'm not going back. Well, at least we'll get a good view of the fireworks from Scotland Yard. Fireworks? Yeah. At midnight, they're launching this huge display from a flotilla of barges on the Thames. It's the official kickoff to the Queen's Jubilee. Is the royal family going to be there? They're going to be viewing the spectacle from a balcony overlooking the river. He's got a machine gun on the barge. Yes. Lost your way? Kid, tell me you got a way out. <sighs> nice move, kid. So why'd you come back? Why'd you give up the seal? Because I'm a fool. Guess I'm a fool too. Put her there, fool. I never got your name. Name's Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. You want the royal family? I'll say please. How are you going to do that?
yourself back there. I shouldn't like to impede your view, Your Highness. Nonsense. You arranged all this. You should have a front row view. I regret that, uh, respectfully, I must decline. I need to keep a good eye on proceedings. <laughs> Nelson, you've outdone yourself. Wait till you see the finale. hopeless, but we're not going to get past the guards. Well, not with that attitude. We won't. Come on, Artie. There's got to be a way. There's always... and by your hasty retreat that you're still 20th in line for the throne. 10th. <laughs> Inspector Doyle, arrest this man. He's got a gun! <laughs> oh. Come on! Okay, what happened? Uh, Rathbone nailed Artie with a little sissy gun. I'll look after him. You two go. Go! For 
father. For father. For old man Wayne. You playing card. Be careful. Tell Rathbone to be careful. Roy, let's go. our hotel from here.
One more. How disappointing. One more. Kill my friend. Kill my father. the same about you. Uh, on three. One, two, three! In recognition of outstanding bravery, I dub you Sir John Wayne. For uncommon valor, I dub you Sir Roy O'Bannon. And for steadfast dedication to justice, I dub you Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Arise. you, baby. Madam? Already a bit Scotland Yard's dying to get you back now. My official prime fighting days are over. The Queen has asked me to accompany the Imperial Seal back to China. What a week. Unbelievable. She couldn't have picked a better man, right, Sean? Yeah. And the voyage is going to give me time to work on my new novel. It features a new kind of detective, and it's going to solve crimes using deductive reasoning. Give me a name. What's his name? Actually, Roy, I was rather hoping to call him Sherlock Holmes, if that's all right with you. I'd be insulted if you didn't use it. <laughs> 
<laughs> See you, Artie. It was very nice of you, Roy. Well, I would have kept the name if I thought it was any good. It's a horrible name for a detective. Sherlock Holmes? Holmes? <laughs> You stop playing with that. I'm gonna well, smash. I, I, I no, just, no. I see it for a second. Just no, let me I see just don't. No, you're gonna break it. It's just a rock with some gibberish on it. It's Chinese. Family is forever, my son. I'm proud you cast your own stone. Wow, that's a good message. I like to cast my own stone, John. Hi. Hi. Told you the house of Obanum will prevail. John, I got a business proposition for you. No more Zeppelins. No, no, this is much better than Zeppelin. It's a new thing they're starting out in California called Moving Pictures. Pass. Hold it, hold it, hear me out. I really think these movies could play to your strength. There's no sounds, we don't have to worry about the language problem. And I think the Kung Fu stuff could be huge. People are dying for a good action picture. What do you think? John Wing, movie star? It could work. I feel bad about ditching that Chaplin kid, but... We're gonna be running and gunning in Hollywood and we just cramp our style. It's such a tough town. should lick you, you think? Like, after you lick me, that could be kind of good. And Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie. Thank you. Hi, Owen. Hello, how are you? OK, and I'm not Royal Bannon. Who are you? Damn it, John, I think she's the one. I know it's crazy we just met, but she's the one. No, Roy, she's my babysitter. Your babies? <laughs> what? Baby what? Baby sister. Baby, baby sister. Not babysitter, baby sister. <laughs> <laughs> Roy is the type of a friend you never introduce to your other friend or bring him to your family. He's, look at his eyes, brown, full of shit. Always, just bullshit all the time. Yeah, have you ever heard of those? They're parents. We have parents that love us. You don't, because you're a little orphan. <laughs> you, don't, you don't, we've got parents, yeah, parents. Have you ever heard of those? We've got parents that love us, but you don't, because you're a little orphan. <laughs> Oh, no, no, go on. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> John Wayne, movie star. It could work. It could work. You could do your own stunts. What? Do my own stunts? Stay here, be a good horsey for the new sheriff. Ouch. Oh. Ow, oh, that's hurt. Yeah. 
You're supposed to catch me. Go ahead, catch. Jesus. My fault. Wait a second. This nut is killing your street women? Who did that? Jackie Chan. Me? That's right. <laughs> that was the first time. Take. First time. The best take. I'm sorry. Hurry up! Are you crazy? I can't do that. This isn't Chinatown. I can't sail through the air. I'm not gonna break my neck. Roy. What in our history together makes you think I'm capable of something like that? Getting bigger? There's gotta be a better way. Roy. 